the ASMO 2022 uh, was an interesting opportunity to evaluate TILS uh, as a biomarker or as a actual uh, therapeutic uh, modality. The Bellini study in the neoadjuvant setting of a triple negative breast cancer patient evaluated TILS as a potential biomarker for uh, treatment de-escalate using checkpoint inhibitors. Uh, whereas the phase three study in uh, uh, locally advanced metastatic cutaneous melanoma evaluated TILS as treatment, so ad um, adoptive uh, cell therapy. At ESMO 2022, we heard about the, the results of the Bellini study, a phase one window of opportunity trial in early stage triple negative breast cancer patients. This was a phase one study um, looking at uh, about uh, 30 patients in total, uh, where uh, patients received uh, a short course uh, of immune checkpoint, either NIVO alone or EP NIVO uh, combination before uh, standard. Uh, neoadjuvant treatment. In terms of results, uh, uh, there were interesting observations because some of the patients had an actual uh, response uh, to this short course of uh, uh, immune checkpoint uh, uh, blockade, uh, even before chemotherapy. This was apparent in patients with uh, at least 40% TILS, suggesting that TILS may be a biomarker for de-escalating uh, treatment and uh, also what they showed that the CD8 counts uh, uh, didn't really predict the response. So in conclusion, I think that although this is a small proof of concept study, it can be uh, suggestive of a niche of TMBC patients that are highly infiltrated in TILS and that may receive a, a, a de-escalate in tumor uh, for treating that disease. ESMO 2022 was also the opportunity to see the first result of a very interesting study from John Hanahan and colleagues about TIL therapy versus ipilimumab in stage 3-4 pretreated cutaneous melanoma patients. They included 168 patients. Uh, equally distributed one-to-one -one ratio in two arms. We did a uh, uh, TIL therapy with a conditioning regimen, Sardan uh, conditioning regimen uh, versus uh, uh, ipilimumab. What uh, uh, we uh, could observe uh, was an uh, increased uh, PFS uh, uh, rate with 7.2 uh, uh, months in the TIL therapy group versus 3.1 uh, months in the uh, uh, ipilimumab uh, uh, monotherapy group. So these are very interesting data. Of course, the overall survival data are not immature, uh, but they will certainly come. Uh, from a perspective point of view, I think this is a trial that uh, suggests that TILs are potentially effective in melanoma, as has been demonstrated already, and perhaps also in other solid tumors. Uh, the logistics can be a bit uh, complex, uh, as well as the side effects, although uh, maybe in a uh, patient population that is a good performance status, uh, young, fit, uh, it can actually be uh, an option to, to, to propose. Mm -hmm.